What's crack, it's Boulders. Manly here at the Man Cave. Hopefully you did something this past weekend to rectify your pussy parts, establish your legacy as a man, and ultimately get yourself closer to being more awesome than you were the day before. Okay, time for a quick Ask Manly question. I don't even have to read from my phone on this one. It's very short, quick, and to the point. Comes from a dude named David. Wants to know how he can gain a quick 10 to 15 pounds while getting ripped up for his spring break that is in six weeks. Now, David, um, first off, you couldn't have asked me about a month or two ago. Would have helped a little bit, my friend. The best results you're gonna get are ones that you can kind of draw out, you know, um, but nevertheless, given your specific goals, I can help you out, man. Um, you know, I'm imagining if you're going spring break, you're still pretty young and you still got uh, hormone levels that are that are going to be very conducive to, to helping you get the goals that you want to achieve. So what I want you to do is traditionally with the swell system, we have three different days. We have our repetitive effort day, our max effort day, and our dynamic effort day. Dynamic effort day is going to be more for the guys that are just geared specifically for performance, if you want to think that. Now, what I'm wanting you to do right now is just kind of you know scrap those days. What we're going to do for you is just rotate max effort which is going to be anywhere from you know 80 percent to um you know max a one you know a one rep max so anywhere from like a one rep max to a five rep max and also for repetitive days we are going to get you to do the the 50 percent to around the 80 percent around there all right so you're going to rotate these for the the core lifts which are going to be um a bench press a military press, standing, not seated, so I guess you can call it strict press, um, uh, squat, and a deadlift. Now, the reason why I want you to focus on those two styles of lifting for that main lift uh, to start your training day is this. The max effort work, anywhere from that, that one rep max to a five rep max, that's not just going to, to get you stronger. It will, it's gonna get you, you know, cock strong as a motherfucker, but it's also going to create a lot of density um, and it's most importantly for you right now, the way I feel, is it's going to really stimulate a lot of the anabolic hormones that you produce naturally so that you can build muscle and, um, and, and burn fat, okay? So that's what I want you to do for the max effort portion. That's why I want you to do it. The repetitive portion where you know, where you're from you know, 50% to like 80%, that's more the traditional bodybuilding style. It's high volume, a lot of reps. That's inducing what we call hypertrophy, building muscle, all right? So when you match these two up, you're building a lot of muscle, you're building density, you're inducing your body um, to, or you're getting your body to stimulate a lot of the anabolic hormones that are responsible for uh, getting jacked and getting ripped. That's what's going to be the recipe that you need to follow. Now. If you're in college, high school, don't be clowning around, getting all fucked up. Don't be drinking a, a whole lot, and um, get some get some proper rest. Because if you do that, match it up with some good nutrition as well. That's going to put you in the best position to get those results real fast. Now, after your core lift, that's when we're going to focus on a, a lot on on getting ripped. So what we do here is real simple. We follow the format we always follow with the swole system, and that's going to be basically addressing all your weak points in those core lifts and putting them together in a circuit format. So not only will we address the weak points, but we're also going to get our heart rate up and increase our resting metabolic rate. This will allow us to burn a lot of calories, not just while we're doing it, but more importantly, after we're doing uh, whatever exercise we're doing in that circuit. So do yourself a favor, man. Match up those max effort days, repetitive effort days, and follow that core lift with some, some weak point training that is going to be in a circuit format. And that's gonna be your best bet to get jacked up and to get ripped in a short period of time. But honestly, bro, I, I never like getting people to, to think about getting quick results because those quick results, it, it's almost like the fat chick yo-yo diet effect. If you're trying to get jacked and get ripped real quick, a lot of the times, you're like in order to be successful with it, you're going to have to absolutely torture yourself, and you're not going to be likely to stick with it. So, really, if you want my advice, you know what I said will work, but it's not likely to be sustainable for you. So, 
a far better plan, a far more efficient plan is to actually draw it out and be more consistent and uh, not wait till the last second, man, because but let's face it, you know, getting, you know, building a lot of size, strength, getting ripped up, it's it's a task, man. It's not just, you know, a one hour a day thing. It, it takes, you know, hours on a daily basis to do so. Anyone telling you otherwise is full of shit. So take my advice on the training, but also look into being more dedicated and more um more kind of methodical with your 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 process and getting what you want. And um, I can guarantee you're going to get far better results and far more sustainable results. So um, hopefully that helps, brother. Good luck, spring break. Don't do anything stupid leading up to it or especially during it. And uh, like I said, best of, best of luck with, with uh, your training and, and the results you get. And uh, also best of luck with the ladies, all right? So hopefully that helps. If not, send another question my way. All you other guys out there have questions about training, nutrition, or just living the life of swole, send them my way. Go EliteSC at gmail.com, subject line, ask man, and I'll give you my best, most honest, fastest, and efficient response that I could possibly conjure up. Have a good night, soldiers. Mandler.